My name is Heather Jovanola. And I'm Brian Jovanola. Our son Thomas is three and a half. Thomas is our first son. So he was my first pregnancy. We did all the normal testing that you thought they would do. Um, all my test results came back perfectly normal. And then when we went in at 21 weeks for our mid-pregnancy ultrasound, that was the first time that we saw that um, there was something wrong, that there was, you know, developmentally they were seeing some signs in his head and some signs on his back that he had this diagnosis of spina bifida that we had never heard of before. For a young couple, finding out that they have a fetus with a problem is one of the most devastating things that can ever happen. One of the reasons that we fetal surgeons wanted to attack the problem of spina bifida is that spina bifida results in lifelong disability. The child is born with this disease and has it for life and there's very little that's been able to be done after birth to improve the outcomes of these children. And in the past, the surgical treatment for that has simply been to repair the defect which is in the lower back and it mainly as a, as a way to protect the skin, protect the nervous system, but not as a way to try to improve any of the disability that the patients have. Uh, what the doctors at UCSF made sure we knew was that this was a huge risk to me as a mother. So the baby has to have the surgery at some point to close up his back, but he doesn't have to have it right now. On the other hand, UCSF is very good at this. We pioneered prenatal surgery. So that was very comforting going in, even though we knew this is a big deal. It was a long day. And finally, the doctor, you know, came walking out with a big smile said, your son has a really cute butt. And so <laughs> we kind of knew everything was okay when he was joking around. Um, it was a big relief. I think for, you know, for mothers who have a fetus diagnosis of spina bifida, I think it becomes a extremely important consideration and a very compelling uh, case to be made to consider fetal surgery very seriously. Yeah, another thing he'll do, and we love to have him do it, is when he comes grocery shopping with me, he wants to walk around and see all the things that are right at his eye level. He wants to grab things off the shelf and put them in the cart. So we let him do that, and he can handle um, walking for an hour and a half in the grocery store because it's so much fun for him to have the freedom to move around and see whatever he wants to see. And that really makes us feel good that um, the choices we've made and him being able to have the surgery um, have on some level allowed him to be that mobile instead of in a wheelchair.